Just a quick overview of the S-Pod HD. First, plug the cable into the back of the HD panel. Once plugged in, the panel will initialize its boot up sequence. On your smartphone, make sure you download the S-Pod HD app off of either Google Play or the iTunes App Store. To turn off the backlighting, push the middle two buttons on the bottom row. This puts the backlights into sleep mode. Press any button to turn them back on. To adjust the colors of the backlights, first open your S-Pod HD app. Then go to settings, then press settings again, and it'll open up a screen with three color sliders corresponding for red, green, and blue. You can adjust the sliders to make virtually any color in the rainbow by adding more or less of the three colors. In this case, we'll be adding more red and taking away the blue and the green. The bottom slider adjusts the brightness of the three indicator lights located above the buttons on the front of the SSPOD HD panel. Press done when finished and hit back to return to the home screen. By moving the sliders left or right, you can create a combination of the three colors to make the backlights any color that you want, such as to match your dash lights or the color of the, your vehicle. By moving the fourth slider in the settings on your S-Pod HD app, you can adjust the brightness of the indicator lights on your HD panel to your preference. Each switch has a set of indicator lights. The first light is red to indicate when the switch is in the on position. The center light is a white light which will only light up to indicate when the switch has a function programmed to it. When the programmed function is activated, the white light will slowly flash. The third light is a blue light which gives you visual feedback along with the touch feedback to indicate that the switch is being pressed. Every time you push a switch, the blue light will light up. It will only light when the switch is being pressed. So when the switch is on, the red light will be lit, the white light will indicate the function, and when the switch is pushed, the blue light lights up. To activate dim mode, first go into the settings on your smartphone and choose the switch you want to program. Select the dimmable function, press done, and hit back to return to the home screen. To use the dimmable feature, first turn on the program switch and then hold the button until the desired brightness is reached. By holding the button in again, you will turn the brightness back up. Pressing the button will still activate the switch as normal. The switch will remember the brightness setting you set it at without having to be reprogrammed every time you press it. To set up a switch for momentary mode, first go into settings on your smartphone and choose the switch you want to program. Select the momentary function, press done, and hit back to return to the home screen. With the switch being programmed as momentary, the switch will only activate while being pressed. To activate strobe mode, go into settings on your smartphone, choose the switch you want to program, select the strobe function, press done, and hit back to return to the home screen. With the switch being programmed to strobe, it will still function as normal when you push the button. Notice that the white indicator light is solid. To go into strobe mode, hold the switch for half a second to activate the function. Back to normal. Hold the switch for half a second to put it back into strobe. To activate flash mode, go into settings on your smartphone. Choose the switch you want to program, select the flash function, press done, and hit back to return to the home screen. With the switch being programmed to flash, it will still function as normal when you push the button. To go into flash mode, hold the switch for half a second to activate the function. Notice the slow flash of the white indicator light. 
Hit the button one time to return to normal. To link switches together, first go into settings on your smartphone. Press switch link in the bottom left corner of the screen. Then select a switch to be the master switch. In this case, we'll choose switch number 8. And then select the switches you wish to be controlled by the master. In this case, we'll choose switch 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we've programmed switch 8 to be the master switch of switches 1, 2, 3, and 4. As you can see, for switches 1, 2, 3, and 4, they still work on an individual basis. When we press switch 8, the master switch, you'll notice that the four link switches will activate along with it, and their features will also be active. This could be handy in emergency situations when you need everything to go into flash and strobe mode all at the same time. The link switches will also turn off individually as well. Once again, by pressing the master switch, the four link switches activate along with it. When having multiple sources, one HD panel can control all of them. To select a different source, first go into Settings, then press Settings again, and you'll see the four source buttons. At default, we are on source number one. If you have a second source and you wanted your HD to control that one, just select the second source button, then hit Done to go back to the home screen. Each SPOD HD kit comes with a full sheet of 72 reusable legends. You can stick them to any of the switches you want to customize your panel to your preference. Just place them on the desired switch and you're good to go. Your S-Pod HD also comes with a Bluetooth pairing feature. However, out of the box, the HD panel will come prepped and functioning as normal with your phone. Holding switch 1 will allow you to pair with multiple devices, such as if you have a phone and a tablet. Holding switch 5 will pair only a single device and lock out any other devices. Switch 4 will unpair from all paired devices and leave it open to pair with any device. In order to pair with multiple devices, first unplug the cable from the back of the HD panel. Then hold in switch number 1 and plug the cable back in. Continue holding the button throughout the boot up sequence and only release once the sequence stops. The white indicator lights will begin to flash, indicating the panel is in pairing mode. The panel is now open to pair with multiple devices. To pair for a single device only, first unplug the panel, hold in switch number 5, and plug the panel back in. Continue holding switch 5 until the boot up sequence is finished. Once finished, release the switch and the white indicator lights will flash. The panel will be in pairing mode for 60 seconds to allow a device to connect to it. At this point, open up your S-Pod HD app on your device and go into settings and hit the button that says pair. Your device will now be connected with all other devices being locked out. To unpair with all devices, first unplug your panel then hold in switch number 4 and plug the cable back into the back of the panel. Continue holding until the boot up sequence stops. Release the switch and the panel will now be unpaired from all devices. The S-Pod HD comes with a programmable sleep timer that will automatically put the panel's backlighting into sleep mode after a set time of inactivity. It is important to note that this will not turn off any of your activated accessories. It will only turn off the switch panel's backlights. You can set this time to range from 1 minute to 255 minutes or about 4 hours by going into the settings on your S-Pod HD app and then putting a time in the box below the backlight color sliders. Once in sleep mode, the panel can be activated by simply pressing any button. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at tech at 4x4s-pod.com or visit our website at www.4x4spod.com.